Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about reporting in Cucumber for Selenium. And this video is actually part B since we have already discussed about little bit about reporting and living documentation in previous videos. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So let's please try to do that. Reporting beyond living documentation. So in our previous video of this video series, we saw how to create a very simple HTML report for our feature file and how to create a JSON file which is nothing but the test run report file. But it was kind of raw because we cannot use the JSON file as it is because there was no code that we have written to integrate the feature file which was generated in an HTML file into the Cucumber's JSON file. So we are going to make use of something called as Cucumber reporting this time. So this is a Java reporting publisher primarily created to publish Cucumber reports on the Jenkins build server. So you can also do it in your local machine but the main aim was to create the reporting for the Jenkins build server and it publishes a pretty HTML report showing the results of Cucumber run. So remember in our previous video we were creating something called as an HTML colon and we gave the path of the directory and where the website has to sit which is nothing but the HTML file. So we are going to make use of the same technology this time to create the result files but it has some great feature compared to the one which we discussed in our previous video. It has been split out into a standalone package so it can be used for Jenkins and Maven command line as well as any other packaging that might be helpful. We are going to discuss this thing this time. This is nothing but the Maven command line. So we are going to empower the Maven command line that we have already discussed in our previous video. I guess it's part 4 of this video series where we discussed how to run the Selenium automation test with Maven. So we're going to make use of the same command this time as well. So we're going to make use of Maven to create or add the references for the Cucumber reporting plugin and then we're going to run the Maven command from the command line. So as I said, this is a open source project which is available in GitHub. So let's quickly see how the project looks like. So this is the project which is available in GitHub for HTML reports for Cucumber and it is an open source which publishes a pretty Cucumber reports in here. And this is the background on how to add the dependency of the Maven into a POM file. It's available right here. And then what is the usage which you can do while you integrate that with the Jenkins. And this is the reports that you can see. It's a very, very nice reporting features. It's available out of the box within this particular tool, which is provided by the developer, right? So I guess many people are using that and we can also leverage the power of the same tool for generating a pretty neat report for our test execution run. As I said, the Cucumber reporting is going to generate some of the cool reports and some of the samples that we are going to generate are going to look something like this. So it's going to show you the exit automation project report, something like this. And this is the step statistics, like what are the methods being called and how much time it took to execute the test cases. And this is the scenarios and hooks and how is the feature file looks like and how is the hooks look like and what is the pass count, failed count and total pass and all those statistics will be available right here. So we are going to start working with this reporting this time. So let's see this in action and generate the same report that we saw in the screenshot. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been working in our previous videos of this particular video series. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to add the Cucumber HTML reporting. So as that said, we are going to make use of the same HTML target Cucumber pretty reporting this time as well. And we will see like how we can empower or leverage the power of uh, the Cucumber HTML reporting. But the first thing that we need to do is to add the dependency into our palm.xml file. So I'm going to go over here and what I'm going to do this time is instead of adding as a dependency, I'm going to add this as a plugin. Remember, as I already said in our slide, we are going to make use of the command line, which is nothing but the Maven, to generate the report. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a plugin and within this plugin, I'm going to add the HTML reporting. So let's quickly go to the uh, Google and let's see. Okay, let's copy the same group ID, artifact and the version. So I'm just going to paste it over here. The version which I know, the latest version is 2.8. So I'm just going to take the 2.8.0. So I'm just going to paste it over here. And since we are going to run this particular report from the Maven, we have to specify some of the execution's goal. So I'm going to specify an execution goal this time. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's call this as executions. And within this executions, I'm going to create a execution goal. So let's give an ID for this execution and let me call this as execution and I'm going to call the phases here. So the phase is going to be what is called as verify. So within this verify phase, I want this to be executed. And once I run this generate goal, it just works fine. So maybe for now, I'm just going to give the name of the goal there generate there we go that's it so this will ensure that once we call the maven and once we run this project from the command line mvn verify this will build the project and it will also generate the report for us right so that's straightforward it is so I'm just gonna save it and the last thing maybe to make sure that our report is being published into and output directory what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a configuration see if you see our test runner or Java file we have not specified anywhere about cucumber HTML pretty report the reason is because we already have specified an HTML pretty report over here so we cannot just try to overrun that or overwrite that so for that reason I'm going to go over here into the palm.xml file and I'm going to create some of the configurations so let's call the configurations oops I need to create the configuration inside the execution so let's call the configuration and let's give what is called as a project name so the project name is going to be I'm just gonna give execute automation for now so that it will generate a report with the project name as execute automation and then I'm going to give an output directory so output directory and within this output directory I'm going to give what is called as a project.build.directory so this is something which is available out of the box with maven and you can see that the intelligence is pretty cool enough and it brings you what are the different kinds of options available for maven which you can use so I'm just going to use the project.build directory so this is the one right and within this build directory I'm going to generate a cucumber report with an HTML right let's call like this and then I'm going to generate a cucumber output so let's give that as well cucumber output IntelliJ is very intelligent enough to uh, modify its other tag very quickly right so it's available over here and then once your HTML file is generated I also need the JSON file remember the one which we generated in our previous video this one I'm going to generate a cucumber JSON file for me this time so I'm just going to save that over here cucumber dot JSON I'm going to save this so you can see that we have performed a lot of operation here the first thing is we added the plugin over here and in this plugin we added an execution tag and in this executions tag we added an execution and the goal to generate the HTML report which is nothing but the Cucumber HTML report and in this Cucumber HTML report we also mention the configuration that we need the output directory of the report to be available over here in the Cucumber reports HTML and since this HTML file is very plain and simple and it don't have any information for which test has got passed, which test has got failed. Remember the JSON file that we saw in our previous video? This one, right? The same one it is going to generate over 
here in this particular cucumber.json file, right? So I'm gonna generate this as well in this cucumber output folder. All right, so everything looks good right now. And let's quickly run this test and see how it works. So the first thing which I'm gonna do is to go to this particular directory. So I'm just gonna right click and show in Explorer. So within this particular folder, I'm just going to open the command prompt as an administrator and let's run maven clean goal so that it will clean the target folder for us it's going to be very fresh and neat there we go and then i'm going to do what is called as compile so that it will compile the latest changes that we made And the final thing which I'm going to do is what is called as verify. So if I run this goal verify, you can see that, hmm, well, I think the problem is because we have wrongly used the uh, Maven that we just used right from here. Because this particular POM file is meant for, the, for adding the dependency, but it doesn't mean that this is going to be used directly for the plugin. So to prove the point, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for the netmaster thought. Uh, so I'm just going to paste it over here and Maven. So you can see this is the netmaster thought, and you can see that the one which we used is this one, the cucumber reporting, and this can be used as a dependency for the project, but it cannot be used for the Maven plugin. So what we should do is we should actually add the one available right here, the Maven Cucumber reporting. So this is the one which we should be interested in. And you can see that the 2.8.0 is the version that we have to use for generating the Cucumber JSON reporter formatter. So this is something which will be used by Maven to run the test, right? And you can see that it is Maven hyphen Cucumber reporting. So I just have to add one more thing over here, which is nothing but the maven hyphen cucumber reporting so this is altogether a different dependency compared to the one we just added before right and now if i try to run the maven verify so let me clear the window cls and then i'm just going to do a maven verify this time and try to run this so this time hopefully it should run the test and also it should generate the report and now you can see that it is running the test it's opening the browser firefox and hopefully this time it should also show us the report there we go it's running the test so the test got passed over here so let me close the browser and now if i try to navigate over here you can see that we have something called as a cucumber report HTML this folder was not available before so right now if I just do a show in Explorer and you can see that we have a different HTML file reports available over here and you can also see we have something called as a cucumber.json file and now let's try to open this feature or view.html you can see that we have this particular report it says that the login feature got passed and this is the total number of scenarios being executed which is passed and the duration which it executed and this is the project name that we gave in our palmer.xml file right and this is the tax so there is no tax available for a feature file yet so that's why it's empty and these are the steps that it is executing while it calls the methods and there is no failure so there is nothing in here for the features you can see that there's a login feature and there is a scenario and these are something which the executor right so the steps and this is the hooks so this is exactly the same thing that i that i showed you in the screenshot right so this is a very very neat intuitive report because it is kind of living documentation because you can see there is a feature file over here and also it shows you the pretty decent uh, failure and pass reporting over here because this is kind of very very helpful while you start running your test for a big project and you can also ensure that the test got passed or got failed something like that what if i try to do this 
what if I just try to add a scenario over here and I just want to make the test fail then probably I can just make something like this login with wrong username and password or maybe wrong it login with correct username and password to fail something like that and here then I should see the user form page wrongly something like that which is uh, kind of not exist so control alt B alt shift mm -hmm. so I'm just going to generate a uh, step definition over here okay and this time what I'm going to do is for the assertion I will just try to do something wrong so just paste it over here so instead of initial I will just give something this doesn't exist so I'm gonna save this so everything seems to be looking good and now if I try to execute this particular scenarios in the maven so one test will pass and another test will fail and right now we should see that we should open the browser and run both the scenarios all right so one scenario has completed and it's opening the next browser for the next scenario and we got an exception there and the exception is expected because we have given the wrong uh, id for the control so it has thrown the exception but right now what will happen is uh, there will be another problem as well you can see that this time it will actually not generate the uh, the report for us the reason is because you can see that it will say that the failed to execute the goal for the sure file plugin and there is a there is a test failure and this is kind of uh, interesting because while I was executing this test for the first time I did not know what is really going behind the scene and once I see the report you can see that it will always show the old report for me so to prove the point what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a maven clean and what I will do is I will try to run the test once again and this time if you go back here to the cucumber basic you can see that we will not have our maven cucumber report rather we will just see an exception here in the command prompt so let it complete the test all right so now we expect to see some test results out there but you can see that in this target folder right now we will not have our cucumber html report rather it, you can see that the complete folder is missing and the reason is because it says that there is an error while running this particular goal and this is happening because of the failure in the test so how to continue the test even after the failure in the plugin you can see there is some kind of information out here like uh, mojo failure exception so if you go over here it will tell the failure is happening while running some of the plugins exception which caused the maven to fully complete its goal but that's not the real problem the real problem is because we have intentionally made the test to fail and it is not handled by the maven surefire plugin so how to overcome this problem we actually have to add one more exception here so what is that is in here so we need to add a configuration and we should say that just ignore the test if it fails so there is something called test failure ignore and you can set this to true right so once you set this particular flag to true and once you run the test this time you can see that this time it will generate the report for us and that's exactly what is happening so if there happens any test failure during the execution the maven goal stops and the next option just to generate the report will actually eventually fail so right now we have told to just skip the failure and just generate the HTML report so let's wait for the test to fail there we go we know that the test got failed this time 
And this time you can see that it is running the Maven reporting plugin as well. You can see the Maven Cucumber reporting plugin is being executed. And now if I go back to my target folder, you can see that we have this Cucumber report HTML. And if I go to the overview feature.html, you can see that we have a failure in the feature level. But if I go to the login feature, you can see there is a one passed and there is one failed. And it, you can see what has got failed. So this scenario, the login with the correct username and password to fail is failing. And this scenario has actually got passed. And if I go to the failures, you can see that this time I can see the failure results or this tab and this is the complete features. So this is how you can see that the generation of report using the Cucumber reporting is much more sophisticated and it's much more intuitive compared to the one which we discussed in our previous video. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.